Hi, I'm Greg Alexander. I want to show you how expensive our roundabouts are in this town and how they are being built just for rush hour cars and how they're not safe or convenient for pedestrians. Most drivers participate in rush hour, during which they spend most of their time waiting at intersections. Even so, drivers are excited by any opportunity for speed, so they may sooner wait at the intersections. Meanwhile, pedestrian traffic exists anywhere there is dense residential development near places people want to be. Such as 17th Street, which is surrounded by destinations including dense residential developments. Here, people walk even though sidewalks are sparse. You can see the mark left by the hundreds of pedestrians who travel here each day. To understand our priorities, you must look at how we spend money. This is the draft MPO budget for Bloomington 2012 to 2015, nearly $20 million. Half of that goes to just three very large roundabouts. These roundabouts can conveniently accommodate high-speed traffic, but they are not safe or inviting for pedestrians. Cell phone not paying attention? Are you going to pay attention to me or am I going to be killed? I think you're paying attention to me. You're not paying attention to me. Um, okay. Yay, thank you. Even on campus, very large roundabouts aren't inviting. Have you ever tried to cross at this one? Another thing which is uninviting to pedestrians is a very wide road. On city streets, 10 feet is an appropriate lane width. Wider roads see faster traffic that is less likely to yield to pedestrians. Do you think the drivers would yield if these pedestrians attempted to cross at the crosswalk? I don't. Neither do they. Speaking of very wide roads, this is the intersection of 17th and Monroe. Even though drivers will spend most of their time waiting in intersections, here they are moving very quickly, so turning can be unsafe. The $4 million roundabout that the city wants to build here covers about an acre. Its only pedestrian amenity is another dead-end sidewalk. For much less money, we could build a four-way stop here. Four-way stops are a standard in an urban environment. They're safe and convenient for everybody, even maniacs. Seventh and Rogers, a four-way stop, sees 50% more traffic than 17th and Monroe. But it is not the bottleneck on Rogers Street. This jam extends all the way south to 15th Street. In conclusion, if we are to prioritize rush hour drivers, we should continue to spend most of our money on gigantic intersections. However, if we are to prioritize pedestrians, we should build smaller intersections and instead spend our money on the spaces in between. Thank you for your attention.